Uh, we got some news here. A14 chip could make the iPhone 12 as powerful as the 15-inch MacBook Pro. A phone as powerful as a MacBook Pro. Now, this has kind of been the dream. This is the thing that Apple has wanted and touted. And, of course, so much of our computational behavior now takes place on mobile devices. You, didn't, you never heard those two. You didn't expect that, Kirk, computational behavior. It takes place on mobile devices, and they increasingly do, are starting to do things better than traditional computing devices, including now this, where they're saying this iPhone 12 could be more powerful than a 15-inch MacBook Pro. Now, granted, I don't know what you're doing on your phone. A little gaming here and there. A little, uh, you can edit videos. A little iMovie. More importantly, when you want to shoot a high-resolution video, like the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the rumor was that it's going to be capable of shooting 8K video. It's a lot of pixels. You need some horsepower for that. So maybe that's where this thing goes. The neural networks. The neural stuff. Processing in the background. You need it on your phone. So Apple continues to make some of the highest performing mobile chips that are out there. There's been a rumor for a while that, that you're actually going to see some of these chips eventually show up in their laptops or more typical traditional computing devices because of how powerful, how much progress they're making when it comes to the mobile chips. So they're, they're apparently moving away from their current design. So the, the current chip is a, what is it, a 7 nanometer? Yeah, it's a 7 nanometer process, and they're moving to a 5 nanometer. And for the uninitiated, like ourselves here, I mean, we're not designing any chips, as far as I know, Jack. Not me. No. I mean, I just got to check, just in case. Because I know I'm not, but you got a lot of spare time. I don't know what you're up to. Yeah. Here is a quote from, who is this, John Cross? This is a big upgrade. The 5 nanometer mode is not a half step by any stretch, but it's the next full node after 7 nanometers. This is where the show becomes sci-fi. The next full node! Where would you rather be than the next full node? If we take TSMC at its word about the improved transistor density of the 5 nanometer process, we're looking at an incredible 15 billion transistors. That's more than all but the largest high-end desktop and server CPUs and GPUs. It's huge! It's so big that I wouldn't be entirely surprised if Apple shrunk the total chip area a bit to around 85 millimeters square and around 12.5 billion transistors. Is that what you signed up for today? Willie Do takes a little break, and then you got to deal yeah. with something like that. Because go ahead, break it down for us. I can't. No, go ahead, please. Conversation. No, I, I see a big number there. Just put that in layman's stuff. terms for us. It's just things are getting powerful. And <laughs> that's my two cents. Pretty much what I'm saying. Things are definitely getting powerful. Uh, some some application for this. Apparently, you could see a uh, performance improvement for games of about fifty percent. But like I, I mean, I tried to imagine other examples in which this could be beneficial throughput on the on the video recording side and things like this. So I can't say I'm surprised. It's it's actually been kind of amazing to see what Apple's been capable of. People are always uh, saying that I'm criticizing Apple. I'm too hard or harsh on Apple. Apple's making some of the best mobile chips out there. You you consistently see these speed test numbers. They're doing some some really amazing stuff in the mobile chip department. And I'm sure that the A14 that's going to power the iPhone 12 is going to be another step in that direction. But now isn't people just going to be spending way more time on their phones than they should? Yeah, of course. Like, isn't this just making that do you have a Do you have a, uh, any other <clears throat> suggestions for those people that are going to be doing that? Well, get outside. Like, do... You know, walk away from your phone every once in a while. But if it's this fast, thanks, and powerful, Grandpa. Yeah. Thanks, Grandpa. Read a book, knit a sweater, <laughs> a little croquet. Yeah. Uh, go bowling, why don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Sit by a fireplace. Hey, man, I don't mind. You don't have to sell me on it. I'll I'll do all those things, mm -hmm. and I'll still 
I'll still be using my nanometers. Yeah, I'll be on my phone. The yeah, whole time. at all at every single one of those events. Yeah. Nanometers. Mm -hmm. 